Hello, my name is Ryan Page and I'm an application specialist for Tecla Structures. Today we'll be discussing getting started with Tecla Structures and we'll be focusing on creating new models. Specifically, the topics in this video include naming and how to specify where to save your model, understanding the types of models and choosing the correct one, and determining which model template to use. Once you've started Tecla Structures and have chosen your setup, you'll be presented with the home screen. Let's navigate to the new tab at the top right. Here is where we create new models. Let's go ahead and create one together. First, under the name heading, let's give a name for our model. This can be any name you can think of that accurately describes the project. It could be the job name, a project number, whatever makes sense and is 40 characters or less. For our video, we're going to use my first model. Next, under Place In, let's specify the directory on where we would like to save our model. Now remember, models are not a single file, but a folder and subdirectories that contain many smaller files that make up the database that forms a Tecla Structures 3D constructible model. Simply select from the drop down or use the Browse button to navigate to the directory you would like to save this new model. By default, Tecla places a Tecla Structures Models folder on your C drive when it installs the program. If you're not sure where to save your models, this is the best place. Just keep in mind, if it's on your C drive, no one else can utilize this model unless you share your computer, move the model to a network location, or share it using Tecla Model Sharing. Below, in place, you can choose between two options, single user and multi-user. Now this specifies what type of model we are about to create. In most cases, we're going to choose a single user model. This is the most common type and is best suited for new users. A single user model allows for only one person in the model at one time. Now, if you need to tag team tasks in one model, the best practice is to use model sharing, but you also have the multi-user model function. Multi-user models, by definition, are ones that allow one or more users in a model at a time. Keep in mind that this feature requires a separate type of license server and has its own set of best practices. If you do utilize a multi-user model, you can change it back to a single model at any time, and vice versa. So you're not really locked into the choice that you make here right now. So with that being said, it's recommended that you start with single user. Below these two choices, we have a checkbox that states Start Trimble Connect Collaboration. If this box is checked, once a new model is open, a small dialog box will pop up and prompt us to create or associate our model with the Trimble Connect project. Trimble Connect is a collaboration software that plays extremely well with Tecla. You can directly export your models from Tecla to Trimble Connect which acts like a model viewer for the web, desktop, and mobile platforms. You can also store files and coordinate with other members of your team. You can choose not to set this up first and later turn it on when you have a model all together or somewhere in between. So regardless of what you choose now, you're not locked into your choice. For this video, we will leave this box checked. Lastly, we just need to choose what template we would like to use to create our model. We have a few different types as you can see. Each has its settings and configuration specific to its industry. It's recommended you choose cast-in-place rebar detailing for cast-in-place concrete and rebar detailing work. This would also include if you specify in form work. Now, if you specify in precast, then precast detailing would be more in line with what you need. If you don't see these templates at the bottom of your screen, that's another indicator that the US environment has not been installed or been installed incorrectly. You should feel free to contact the help desk if you need assistance in resolving this. For this video, we're going to choose the cast in place rebar detailing template. And once we do, we can just go back up to the top to the right of the name field and click the create button. Now Tecla is going to do its magic and create the model for us. Once that's done, we'll see the Trimble Connect Select Project dialog box pop up. This is related to the Start Trimble Connect collaboration checkbox that we left on. In this box, we can specify an alternate name for our project in Trimble Connect, choose which cloud server we're going to place it on, as well as any licenses we need to select. After we do that, we can just go ahead and hit the Create button. When we're done with the Trimble Connect dialog box, the last thing we need to address is our view list. And we can see it here on the screen. And we see one single view listed on the left-hand pane called 3D View. This is the default blank view for every new model. Highlight the 3D model if it's not already and hit the right button over to move it to the right pane and that will activate the view and make it current. And that is how you create a new model in Tecla Structures. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching.
For more information on the topics discussed in this video, please see the information listed in the description. For other topics, make sure to visit our Techly User Assistance webpage for product guides, support articles, tutorials, and more.